In this presentation, I'm going to show how to use the Wolfram Data Drop with the Raspberry Pi 2. To get data from different sensors and create several collaborative activities for education. So let's start with the Wolfram Data Drop web platform. The Wolfram Data Drop web platform can be accessed through datadrop.wolframcloud.com. Here is an example of data bin that I created uh, for the Wolfram Summer Camp students. There I created uh, this as a live experiment. So I was uh, providing them with this uh, URL and uh, I was uh, asking them to enter the, their city. So I was interpreting the city's names uh, entered by the students. They are able to enter a city and submit it. So in just a few minutes I get all the cities of all the students in there and I uh, was uh, mapping all these cities in a, in a world map and they could see each other connected in, in just one graphics, geographics. The example is uh, uh, another experiment I, uh, I did a few months ago and this was uh, to ask for two different animals names and when the student enters these uh, animals names it creates an association so you end up uh, with uh, all these uh, pairs of animals and then when you plot them as a graph you end up uh, with the connections of all of them. Stay tuned because I'm gonna give you another example with animals later in the, my second talk. Then the, the example number three is uh, a collaborative activity that was uh, created during a hackathon that I was a mentor and this team, Brainterstellar, created um, a platform that uh, enabled the users to scan NASA's uh, images. So each user selected best uh, images uh, shown to them. All the selections uh, were stored in, in, in a data bin. So when the first round was uh, finished, uh, they had uh, another round until the final image converged uh, as a collaborative answer. You can take a look at this um, website. You have to just select one of those images. And when you select, you are going to send the identification of uh, this image to a data bin. Now let's take a look at the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is an inexpensive computer that plugs into a monitor or TV and uses a standard keyboard and a mouse. It enables people of all ages to explore computing and learn to program. The Raspberry Pi 2 is about six times faster and it comes with a quad core processor and one gigabyte of RAM. Which, is, uh, which uh, has readily improved the experience of interacting with the device via the Wolfram language user interface. It comes with uh, 14 extra pins. So the GPIO, it's, uh, it's larger and you can plug more, more sensors than the Raspberry Pi B. Here's just a simple example I created. So, um, just uh, brought this program to say hello wall in Morse code by blinking an LED. So it's uh, a really simple thing, and you just ask it the, 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 the Morse code of hello wall using the freeform input. 
So, okay, it's the output, and then I talk this code, this code. And I replace it, each one of these characters by an action. In this case, the, the dot is going to be um, turning on the LED for 0 0.2 seconds. Then the slash is going to turn the LED uh, during one second. It's going to turn on the LED for one second. So when you just replace all these actions, you end up uh, with this um, video. Which is saying hello world in Morse code. Okay, now let's see what you can fit uh, to a data bin. For example, if you plug a sensor to your Raspberry Pi, you can send this uh, information of the sensor to a data bin. In this case, I plug it uh, a peer motion sensor, a passive infrared sensor that detects uh, human and animal kind uh, of movements. As you can see, it's really simple. You have just to connect it. For this particular case, I kept track of all human movements in my hole for several months. Every 20 minutes, the total number of counts was added to a data bin. So I could monitor my hole in real time from anywhere with Wolfram Alpha. And if I wanted to, I could also analyze the data and create advanced visualizations. Like this one in the flow and date list plot that distinguishes business days from weekends. And here is the Wolfram Alpha. The Wolfram data drop also accepts images from the Raspberry Pi camera module, so you can easily make a remote motion trigger with a peer motion sensor. In this case, when uh, motion is detected, I'm sending an image using device red to this particular data bin. Also, I'm counting the number of women. So, and here are the stats that I recorded during the four hours. If you don't have a PR motion sensor, you can also use the the camera module to to take photos in a regular period of time. You uh, just need a good subject, for example, this plan. And I was taking a photo of this plan every six minutes using uh, a scheduled task. So you just run a scheduled task to take uh, uh, an image and add it to this data bin. The thing is that I didn't water it, that plan for several days. And when I watered it, it looked like it was uh, really alive. The Raspberry Pi is uh, it's, it's a great computer for rapid prototyping. can design uh, different objects that can, for example, be exported and then 3D printed. And uh, data drop is also good for rapid prototyping when combined in, in platforms like the, if this then that trigger channels that I'm going to show you what it is about in a few minutes. To wrap up this presentation, I'm giving you several resources that you can use to to explore the different things that you can do with uh, the Wolfram language and the Raspberry Pi. Here you have several examples. You also have this uh, free tutorial that I encourage you to to take a look and, and go through it. It's 
really designed for the Raspberry Pi. So kind of looking a former employee created it and it's uh, intended for, for teaching kids how to, to learn the, the Wolfram language. Then finally I'm encouraging you to join the Raspberry Pi group on Wolfram community. There you're going to find other fellow users that are uh, doing amazing examples with the Raspberry Pi and the Wolfram language. And I must say that uh, the Wolfram data drop uh, quick reference, it's going to be updated soon and you're going to see different tutorials.